everyone so uh, my this particular video is related to prestigious doms iit madras department of management studies so doms uh, normally uh, take student for ms program phd program direct phd program and uh, they have released their research forms that is for phd and direct phd program so let me take you to the website and uh, share with you some of the information so if you go to the website of iit madras doms you will find that uh, they have mentioned uh, on their portal some of the informations and on the right side as you can see in the announcement they will uh, tell about doms research admission the moment you click on research admission uh, you will go to another link and where you will find this information uh, management study research admissions where they will talk about various uh, you know this uh, financial uh, assistance provided to you Fellowship for HTRA candidate. The HTRA means you will get scholarship. So first two years, 37,000 for PhD, 42,000 for next three years. And it is a five years program after BTEC. And the research programs, as of now, they have come out with this PhD, direct PhD, post doctorate. And in these uh, domains, if you can see, these are the domains in which they are coming out for PhD. Soon, uh, many of you will be asking that MS program is also going to come. Yes, it comes in the winter and uh, we will wait for MS. As of now, MS have not started. Majority of the institutes are coming out with the PhD as of now. So engineering students should not fill marketing, finance, etc. Because you may not be taken in those. But yes, you can go for operation management, integrative management, information system, HR and organizational behavior. HR and organizational behavior may be for civil engineers. Uh, then operation management for mechanical engineers, information system, uh, maybe for electronics and computer science students and integrative management is generic management for technocrats. So finance and marketing, you please avoid. Now, if you are a direct PhD candidate, that means you have done BTEC and you do not have GATE score, then you should be from centrally funded technical institutes with CGPA 8 plus. But if you are from ordinary college and have a GATE qualified, valid GATE score, you can directly go for the interview in direct PhD and you have to write a very good SOP. So check some of the SOPs which are on the panel of Europedia and make a very good SOP for you. And uh, if you are targeting after MTech, then uh, you should have PG degree and uh, uh, then uh, PG degree is uh, sufficient if you are having and GATE score they are not requiring. So if you are MTech or something, then GATE score is not required. And uh, and above, if you have two years of job experience, then maybe uh, your this can be waived off. MBA requirement can be waived off. So yes, people can go through uh, you know some qualifying degree uh, like gate and all, and without that also. Now uh, let me uh, tell you if there is some another uh, things also here for you last dates and all. So I think the form uh, dates have uh, they have uh, told something about the dates also. Yeah. So yeah, this is the date, uh, 9th October till 27th October till 5 p.m. You have to find it out. So this is half HTRA, half-time research externship, quality improvement program, part-time. So you will be filling in HTRA. This is for PhD program. And uh, make a very good SOP and uh, make a good PPT and then you have to present there. That is how you have to go for it. And let me tell you one more thing also. Like uh, when, when, when you go for, uh, uh, you know, this uh, writing of... Uh, uh, this SOP, uh, make sure that uh, you also go through the profile of the professors. So uh, professor's profile is mentioned here and you should go in detail about uh, the profile of the professors, what research they are doing. So faculty and research faculty at uh, DOMS, you should surely see which faculty is working in which department. Like suppose operations, may I want to see which professors are working on operations. I need to see and uh, uh, check which professor is working in which domain. So let us say uh, Rahul, Professor Rahul, if I check out what and domain he's working into and uh, what area he's working. I need to check with the, his profile and need to see his details. Similarly, you know, other professors one by one you see and whatever you like. I mean, whichever professor profile you like and you want to work further with that professor, you can uh, check his uh, research area in detail and you can find out, okay, this is the research for you. Like he's from industrial engineering and uh, uh, he's uh, B.Tech in production engineering. So if you are also B.Tech in production engineering and if you are interested in his, his areas of interest so that he will be mentioning what his area of interest also. So you can always work with these kind of people. So just explore more. And uh, if you see, Professional interest means academic interest only. 
so research interest is uh, stochastic modeling behavioral operation decision making under certain uncertainty those kind of things if you are interested you can work on that so in my opinion i think you should go in detail of this and uh, start working and i'm very sure uh, if you make a very good sop you will surely get opportunity here prepare with your pedia cover for phd ms programs various ms program and if you are interested in industrial engineering and management many options will come in industrial engineering department management department for masters also those who do not want to go for phd and want to go for masters many options will come give your uh, next 2 3 months if you are merely get qualified and if your cgpa is more than uh, let's say 7.5 believe me you will get multiple calls from these institutes so if you are interested please fill the form and uh, register yourself with your pedia and we go forward thank you